How do you write a story? Well, first you have to understand basic structure. Follow along with me and put your hands together in a mountain. This is what plot looks like. You have exposition in your left elbow, rising action in your left forearm, climax in your hands, falling action in your right forearm, and resolution in your right elbow. Look at your mountain. Notice how your mountain is all connected. Look at your elbows. Notice how they're the base of the mountain. In your exposition, to have a strong foundation, you need to introduce your characters and context with lots of precise details. Without that, your story, your mountain, becomes shaky and falls apart. Likewise, your resolution should logically follow from events that happened in the story. I mean, imagine if your elbow wasn't connected to your body. Imagine yourself eating cereal. Is it interesting? Well, maybe if something happened, like an earthquake. But no, nothing's happening. Is that an interesting story? No! Why? There's no conflict. If there's no problem, no conflict presented towards the beginning of the story, why does anyone want to read that? Who wants to read about a normal day? So throw that imaginary cereal away and go on an adventure. Now, think about your characters. Do what I do. Sit super still. Now, shake all about. What's more fun and interesting? Shaking, of course. We call characters that grow and change and move dynamic characters. You want your characters to be dynamic. Remember when you were sitting still? Those are what we call static characters, and those are boring characters. To describe characters, events, and settings, you want to use as precise and as descriptive language as possible. You want to use sensory words and figurative language. If you have a setting in the classroom, look at the classroom around you. What does it look like? Is it super neat, or does it look like a tornado went through it? How does it smell? Does vanilla scent waft around you? Are the desks smooth? You also want to develop your character settings and events with dialogue. You can remember this with air quotes. These little pumps of dialogue can tell you much about the characters. Ugh, I don't want to do anything today. You never want to do anything. Here you characterize this character as lazy without saying it directly. You want your story to be smooth, like this, like a wave. However, if you do not use transition words, your story will look like this. Transition words shift one time frame or setting to another. Some examples of transition words are these. For example, as soon as Sarah saw the assignment on the whiteboard, she let out a big sigh. Sarah immediately pulled out her tiny pencil and started writing. Meanwhile, the teacher observed the scene with a glare of approval. The last thing you want to make sure is that the pacing is proper. Imagine you are running so fast that everything around you is blurry. If that is the most interesting part of your story, then you missed it. Likewise, imagine running super slow through a white room. Don't draw out something that is super boring. Have a good pacing in your story so you can develop what's important. Now remember, Just apply this to your writing and you'll do great.